Let's do it. What's up guys? I'm back here with another video and today I want to answer a question and talk a little bit about something that I get asked a lot and it's about chiropractic school and particularly which chiropractic schools are the best and which one should I choose? What school is going to make me the best chiropractic possible? Which one is it? Because there's so many of them and I understand there's so much confusion with this topic. So I'm going to go into this right now and hopefully you guys will come out of it with some more clarity for what school you think is going to be best for you. So let's get into it. So which school is it? Which one is it? There's so many of them. Is it Life University? Because that's a school that I go to and it's the biggest chiropractic college. Or maybe it's Palmer because Palmer really is the only true chiropractic chiropractic school after all it was the first chiropractic college but then there's different branches of Palmer there's the one in Davenport which is the OG one but then again it's in Davenport Iowa what in the heck is in Iowa but maybe there's one in Florida Florida's nice it's right by the beach that could be nice but then you got all the rain and the hurricanes and it's kind of wet and swampy uh, oh but they have the one in California California could that be nice I don't know what California's like I mean I have a jean jacket but maybe you don't maybe you can't fit in in california and there's a few other schools in california and out west aren't there and there's the one in dallas texas and there's the one in sherman if i really want to get all philosophical because that's a big philosophy school and then there's schools in canada do i even go there so clearly there's a lot of confusion here so let's get into this right let's break this down let's break down the schools and let's give my ideas because what's your thoughts Stephen? what do you think is the best school so let me answer that. I'm going to answer that right now. What is the best school? And the best school, the school that you should go to, the school that is the best school for you is going to be none of them. 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 Really, none of them. None of them. None of the schools. Not one chiropractic school is going to make you a successful chiropractor. Now, what am I saying, Steve? Because that's a little bit out there. Are you saying that chiropractic doesn't isn't right or he's saying the schools are inherently bad no not at all the schools are great the schools are going to provide you with the education necessary to a, be a great clinician the schools are going to give you the doctorate they're going to give you the certifications they're going to give you the ability to pass all your boards and have all the skills and knowledge to be able to apply yourself as a clinician but they're not going to inherently make you a great, great clinician right so the true merit of success and by success what I mean by that is you know I'm not looking about how many patients you're seeing or how much money you're making or what your work-life balance is, although all those attributes are important, it might be important for you. What I deem true success as a doctor is how am I able to help that one person that's sitting across from me in this moment right now? Because they might come in with all sorts of issues and all sorts of problems, and they might have been told this thing by one doctor, that thing by one doctor. They looked up all this stuff online and told them all these different things, and they're confused, and they're suffering, and they're going to come into my clinic, into my office, and sit down with me, and I I pray and I hope and I just wake up every day with that ambition that I'm going to have the ability, the skills, the tools necessary at my disposal to be able to give that person the truth that they need to hear with their health. Why? Because there's so much information out there today that just isn't true and I hope that I can apply myself and give the truth to that person in that moment. Why? Because the world is in desperate, desperate need of true healthcare leadership and it's a disservice for myself, it's a disservice for that individual, it is, it's a disservice for my family, for my city, for my clinic, for my state, for the entire world if I cannot be the best doctor that I can possibly be. And so ultimately, it doesn't matter what school I went to. Why? Because they are successful doctors that have gone to all of these schools. Likewise, there are a lot of unsuccessful doctors that have gone to all of these schools. So it's not the school that's the final merit of becoming a successful doctor. Ultimately, it is the doctor, the individual themselves, that ultimately fulfills their destiny out. Right, And so what that looks like, it's not necessarily about the resources, the information, the environment that's presented to them, but it's how they apply that and apply that to make them the best person that they can possibly become of themselves, right? And so, you know, looking at this a little bit more practically here, whenever you're looking at the different schools, look at all of them. I believe there's 20 schools in the United States that you can look at and just check out the websites. Look at the differences between them. Read their mission. Read their vision statements. Look at the campus location location, things that you might be interested there, and look at the different curriculums because all the curriculums are going to be a little bit different. Look at the prerequisites, although prerequisites aren't necessarily the best indicative thing to look at because 
prerequisites are pretty much the same for all of the schools. And if you haven't checked or you're curious about the prerequisites, you can go ahead on my channel and look up the video. I made a full video about the prerequisites you can talk about here. And so check that out. It's a really good resource for you. But you can look at all of that. And ultimately, the one thing that I can say in choosing a school is you should choose a school that has the most abundance of resources available for you, right? This, and I, I believe I can speak on my behalf that Life University has done just that for me. I can't necessarily speak on behalf of some of the other schools because Life University was really the only school that I was seriously considering looking at uh, because it just spoke very loudly to me and literally every single one of my mentors, even the ones that hadn't gone to the school life, recommended me to come here. So my decision was pl pretty clear cut for me, but it might not necessarily be so clear cut for you. So look at all the different schools. Ultimately though, when you're making your decision, you wanna make a decision on what school has the most resources and what school is going to give me the ability to become a successful chiropractor. And Life University is amazing at that and have done an amazing job. But ultimately though, it comes down to you. It comes down to how are you going to apply yourself, right? There's an old proverb saying that uh, when the master will, or when, it, when the student's ready, the master will appear, right? So. Are you yourself ready to hear from the master? Are you yourself ready to hear the information or are you ready to apply it to make that change for your life, to live out your true purpose again, to help that one person that's sitting across from you in that moment? And the thing is this, it doesn't start when you're a chiropractor. It doesn't start when you're in practice. It even doesn't start whenever you're in chiropractic school. It starts where you're at right now. Whether you're in high school, or whether you're in college, or whether you're working or doing whatever, it applies right now. And be that student, be that disciplined, that focused student that is ready and eager to learn and ready and eager to grow and to apply themselves to be the best doctor that they can possibly be to that one person sitting across from them. And being that best person that you can be and applying that principle to all areas of your life. So where are the masters in your life? Are you ready to be that student at your high school, at your college campus, at your job today? And if you build that mindset up, then the path, the future path for what school you need to go to will appear and the resources and the information that's presented to you and the experiences you go through as you go through this journey of becoming a chiropractor will be presented to you and you will grow, you will mold and you will become that successful doctor. So if you enjoy this video guys, subscribe to this channel because this is an incredible resource for you to grow and to become a great chiropractor because that's my vision, that's my focus and I wanna share what I'm learning and my thoughts as I go through this with you and be looking for more and be ready to apply yourself in all aspects of your life. All right guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.